In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the Y cross concept out of the normal Y off close formation. The cross or dig concept is one of the most important concepts in any offense. And we're going to show you how to do it at normal Y off close. Now, the play we're going to be utilizing for this is we are going to be utilizing the play Y sale. We're actually going to turn this into Y cross. Now, the beauty of this formation, just the way in general it works, is it has a lot of flexibility. This is the normal Y off close in the Washington um offensive playbook so basically how we're going to set this play up is we are going to take our tight end and we are going to put him on an out route we're going to take our running back we're going to put him on an in route and then we're going to take the slot and we're going to put him on the crosser and basically what you have here is you've created kind of the cross concept now it's a little different than why sale you can actually run this play with the tight end on the crosser it would look a little different look slightly different it would look more like something like this right here or maybe a whip route to herman moore so you can do it that way as well um the main reason i don't like that one as well is because i don't feel like it beats man coverage as well and man coverage is obviously the meta another little pro tip with this is you can actually motion the slot receiver in a step this is just going to help kind of create a little bit better spacing this in route to the running back is really more of a check down than anything else but basically what your progression is is you want to look to your tight end out route you want to look to your well you want to look to your fade route then your tight end out route and then you want to try to work to your cross route over the middle of the field now the wide cross concept i think is one of the most effective concepts year over year because it spaces the field both vertically and horizontally in a way that most of the route combos that you're going to see really don't as you can see right there this crosser can cook man-to-man -man coverage now against the other reading that we do have against man coverage is this route to michael thomas um, i'll show you right here you'll see there he gets at inside leverage we're just going to free form pass lead that down and inside and as you can see you can possession catch that even if the opponent has a medium route ko there um, you should be okay as long as you possession catch the route now let's get into zone what i love about y sale is this deep fade route from cd lamb is an outside release kind of fade so what's going to happen is this route is going to run off zones and we're going to freeform that down just like that against zone coverage and it just puts that crosser in a really good spot against really any zone coverage in the game and so they're going to have to you know basically double mabel to stop that and then if they start to double mabel what we'll be able to do which is kind of interesting under this play is we actually have a chance to hit this deep fade over the top if they are in a cover two double mabel style defense we get the running back there um, but what you see here is if we free form and pass lead up and outside you see that it can kind of put the ball in an in a, in a interesting position now another thing that we can do is let's say that we are on the short side of the field i'll show you that the cover to mabel is going to work a little differently on the short side of the field so this is a short side of the field cover two defense what happens a lot of times with deep halves on the short side of the field whenever they're dealing with these glitchy kind of fade routes you'll see right here that that deep path is going to turn inside and you can actually free form that right up into the outside just like that so you give yourself a chance against a a true double mabel look now against a true double mabel look you they will be able to defend your uh, deep crosser your deep crosser is going to run about 30 yards so if they have a 30 yard cloud they're going to be okay against that so if you do get mabel coverage the thing that i like to tell people is you want to look to that running back right there if they go to the running back then you want to take your dig over the middle of the field as you can see right there Y cross is super effective against man and zone, but it's also one of the best match beating plays in the game because match coverage is going to play this very similarly uh, to man coverage in a lot of ways. But the beauty of it is things like this quick tight end out route. You'll see here that this route to CeeDee Lamb a lot of times has a decent shot. Again, you see how he got that step over the top on the man coverage. If you can get a good free form going, you have a chance to hit that route to CeeDee Lamb over the top for a one play score. Now the other thing that you always have in this is your crosser. You'll see right here your crosser's open, your dig's open over the middle of the field and effectively it's gonna play very similarly to man coverage on the back side. Y cross is one of my all time favorite plays. I run it out of literally everything that I run because if you can learn how to throw this crosser against man coverage right on that cut right there, um, or just when he gets the separation to the sideline, you're gonna have a lot of success. I've shortened a lead on this crosser 
Um, so normally what's going to happen is if he does get jammed, he's going to light up and kind of get around it. And then as you can see right there, kind of throw it in the middle of the field. Now if they have KO abilities, the one thing I will say is if they do have KO abilities, you want to be patient in the pocket. A lot of times take your out routes, take your in routes to your other receivers. Um, and really the best thing that I know how to do to avoid the knockouts, because they're kind of going crazy right now, the best thing that I know how to do to avoid these knockouts is to make sure that you're possession catching it and free forming it enough so that it's it's like a dive catch animation. So you see here, I'm trying to get that dive catch animation to Herman Moore. So you know you can do that again if they are you know if they are if their KOs are KOing really well, like take your out route. This out route to the tight end is one of the most effective. Of course, we can't catch anything right now. Um, this out route to the tight end is one of the most effective routes against man-to-man -man coverage. So you have that, you have uh, your in route to your back if you have backfield mismatch. But again, take that route right there. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> um, you can't catch anything in practice mode, I guess, and everybody's glowing on the defensive side of the ball, but we'll try one more time. Be great if we can catch it. Now the linebacker completely dumbed out. But trust me, you can catch these against man. Um, you should be, honestly, if they're running a lot of KOs, what, what you can also do now in this example, the guy's go glowing up, but you if you wait on long enough on this crosser, you'll see freeform that up over the top, possession catch it. Now you're in a position where, you know, now you're going to be able to, to handle it. Because most people don't have deep route and medium KO. Most people have medium route KO. They don't have deep route KO as well. So if they have medium route KO, like I think War, here Ward has, um, Ward has um, deep route KO. So because he has deep route KO, then you know you want to work the middle of the field. But if he has medium route KO, you want to work the uh, deep route side of the field. So just kind of some things to think about with the KO abilities. They kind of went nuts in this. But again, you know this is kind of my favorite concept for beating man and zone because it just, like I said, just spaces the field really, really well. And and I also want to leave you with this. You can run this from. Um, you could actually run this concept from the opposite direction. So. All you need to do is put the tight end on a post or crosser. Then instead of an in route, you're going to have a backside curl. You need a flat to the back. And then over here, you're going to have your out route fade concept. This one is probably a little better against press man specifically because the tight end is not going to get pressed. And if they press your left side receiver, it's going to be a touchdown, as you can see. So keep that in mind. Everything works the same. It's just going the different direction. So um, what you'll see here is when you run it this way, you know, you're going to have a little bit better stuff against zone because that curl is going to sit. But also, again, now your tight end is the route, and now we're trying to attack the left sideline. So that's how you want to run Y cross and run it to both sides. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's in the description. $10 will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, where we take these principles and concepts that we teach on YouTube, and we actually weave them into a complete offensive scheme that you can use to dominate at any level of Madden. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check that out, link is down in the description below.